Hello and welcome again. This is Crob and this is Polish Dude. I'm starting this assembly tutorial already in uh, button mode because I had the guy already ready. So I just wanted to showcase the button mode to start with. And then we're going to go into the various parts after while I'm disassembling it. And then we're gonna go to see the police station and finally the robot move. Um, I just finished recording the other tutorial for Train Guy. I've been a bit behind with this tutorial, so I apologize in advance, but I want to reiterate that these uh, figures, these designs are available on Cuts 3D on offer until the end of September, which is not really a lot. So if you happen to see this video after September, then still put a like on my designs and you might get notified when they are on offer again. Otherwise, you know, thanks for purchasing this file. There is also a file that I uploaded on Calls 3D that comprises of all those four designs. So that is Hothouse, um, there was, no, I call it Fire Dude, sorry. Fire Dude, number one. Number two was Police Guy, no Police Guy, uh, Petro Guy. They are same colors, that's why I keep getting confused. Uh, Petro Guy, and those were two designs that I made based on the old Hasbro toys that were remade during the Earth Rise toy line but I didn't like because they were just repaint of other figures. So I made those as re remakes. And now I have train guy and police dude as my original designs. Now I have train guy here because I just finished the review and we can compare these two original designs later. Uh, but let's start talking about this. Now, I didn't think this guy, this dude, was coming with enough accessories. So I tried myself my hand at uh, creating a MicroMaster myself. It's not perfect, and yeah, that cracked a little bit <laughs> because there's so tiny parts. But, you know, I'd never print in high quality either. So um, if you print it in better quality, especially the parts that have in them you may get better results uh, but overall I really like how this guy came out uh, it functions you know it does its job it turns into a SWAT uh, van so I call him the SWAT kid and uh, and yeah it was fun to design and try my hand at this so it's got pull joints for the hips and the arms so they can be a bit fiddly if you don't print in high quality, as you can see. But I can assure you that, you know, if you print with a good quality uh, filament, that it will hold together pretty nicely. So to transform this guy, it's pretty simple. You already seen me flipping the back up. The arms go all the way up. And, you know, you kind of want to hold them together. The legs peg together, and then they're supposed to, well, supposed to back together or at least they stay together and you want to flip all the way up and then together with the rest of the body and there you go you got a swap van with wheels that don't work but you know kind of does its job kind of does its job um i'll probably revisit this design Later, I'm designing the MicroMaster cutter, and I want to have this guy in it together with uh, another guy that will be very similar, but will be like an ambulance. Um, so I might resize it a little bit because I think it's it came a bit smaller compared to the MicroMasters from Hasbro. So that might help with some of the uh, joints and clearances to to be a bit better and you know to be able to put filament through without cracking things and stuff like that but overall i like this little guy uh i also have 
the prototype in orange that I saved just because they're cute little guys. But let's talk about the main guy here now. Um, this gun had some trouble with the pegs, so <laughs> it's not pegged in the way it's supposed to be. The guns are supposed to peg then sideways like that on the, let's call them towers, uh, in the battle mode. Let's move this aside. So he comes with four guns, by the way. Um, I did say that I didn't think he had enough accessories, but I ended up giving him quite a bit. So we have two more guns to go on the side of the head in battle station mode. Uh, so yeah, effectively you could give him like a bunny rabbit look if you wanted to. <laughs> but that's not for today. So that's the head that goes on top of there to become some kind of shooting turret. We got four guns. We got this piece here, comes here as well. And these become the forearms. Um, I want to thank somebody in uh, one of the Transformer 3D printing group that pushed me to do better with these designs. Uh, they were a little bit flat and, you know, let's say G1 cartoon-ish, but I think that this guy came out with some nice details on, on it that elevated the figure to another level that I didn't know I could achieve. So thanks people for pushing me in the direction to improve my designs. I think the next step will be to improve the faces. I think I'm terrible at faces. I need to do better. Um, but yeah, so we have a radar this year <laughs> that uh, it's kind of like an arm with an ending that is a radar. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do accessories, I guess, for these MicroMasters. It's useful because they work both in base modes and in robot modes where, you know, they can bend and still look like radars poking out of the shoulder. Uh, let's put this guy aside. So we have this multi-cannon tower that was added as well. That's thanks to Campo that is suggested me to add more accessories. And then I decided that a radar dish was a good addition to this set. Um, and then the main body here. So, well, this part is all connected together. We got the front of the torso and we got the arms with the elbows. You can just detach them from here and voila, this is done. Now, there is some gimmicks on this uh, figure that I haven't done before which I'm kind of proud of, but it's nothing special. So this is obviously the usual uh, crop design for the hips. Uh, they can go, you know, full splits back and forward and all that kind of stuff. You got the main body goes here uh, and then, you know, becomes the robot mode. But to become police mode, we still need to go and do it upside down. And we need to open this up again. Oi. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Goes up. Yes. Ah, that thing is cracking. This black is terrible. I needed to dry it before you used it. So anyway, it's gonna get printed again, I guess. For the police mode, uh, police station mode, I should say. Now, we want to take everything apart because there is a few things that need to happen. All right. So, as you can see, you can guess already the front of the police station is gonna be on the side of the leg. So this go in like we did for the train guy. The uh, design of the legs started very similar, and then I added these panels instead of the roads. Um, and then the front of the leg becomes uh, the top of the police station. And when you pay it together, it spells police. So 
there you have the front of the police station. Okay. Now, their arms, oh, yeah, there will be something to hold it together, so don't worry for now. So let's leave it there. Their arms have the side of the police station. So this is the gimmick that I was talking about that I'm kind of proud of. Because in robot mode, the shoulders can move all the way at the back so that they're out of the way or you can stop them in the middle and, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. But in police station mode, you want to make sure that this window is at the bottom. Okay? And then with the shoulder piece up, you want to peg it in there. So now you have one side of the police station then, and this pushes up as well, and done. When this was in battle station mode, these panels can squeeze in just a little bit, just to meet in the middle. So when you go in police station mode, you just need to squeeze it up a little bit. But then in robot mode, you can do what you want. So this is fighting me as well tonight. It used to peg together nicely. Oh, there is maybe some filament there that moved. So that is the front of the police station. And we want to peg this in here, this way, because then um, now these are just gonna go back on the main building like that, just like that. Let's move all this stuff aside. This is gonna go back on top, like in bottom mode. We're gonna hide one of the guns in here and that helps holding the building in place a little bit. We want to hide the other one in here as well. Again, to help hold the wall. We can push this up a little bit so you get some clearance to do so. And I'll push it back down. But today, no. Today, everything is fighting me. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one is the one that has a short peg, so it's fine. Then the other ones can just go on the side here as a, you know, collection of weapons for the police and we then put, oh, put through the elbows and squeeze it in so that everything stays inside the police station and then if you want to just screw this in the moment <laughs> just leave it you can use the radar in police station mode by plugging it in on the side. And then if you want to have storage for the cannon, you can put it on the other side. You can put it upside down so that it's hidden away or sideways, depending on, you know, how you want it to do so that it's hidden. Or you can use it in police station mode as a cannon itself. So here we go, police station and let's call it civilian mode. Now, I left uh, a peg at the front so that you can put some roads uh, attached to this. And, you know, the windows will match the road level. So, well, those, this is probably the door entrance and I made it look like there is some kind of roof there for the door entrance 
and you know all that kind of stuff. PlayStation mode. Now for the grand final, we're gonna go to Robo mode. So let's move this guy aside for a moment. And let's take all this stuff out. We got all the guns. We got the main body. And then we got the hips again. Need to be careful with that hip piece that is breaking on me. I'm pretty sure this is going to be embarrassing to put together now because that thing is weak as... Mm. So, yeah. Anyway. We got the arms. We want to identify which one is left, which one is right. As usual, you know, pop it out. Pop this out. And we got left and right. Then we got the actual arms and again you want to push this back take this down flop this forward pack this in one is done the other side push this back and see this one it's a bit more resilient and it's gonna stop only halfway through which is the intended design well this one it's going a bit further back. Um, again, arm, detach the roads, and flip the knee out. And now this panel doesn't move, but this closes up. So while there are details in here for other modes in robot mode, that will be hidden away. And that's the leg. Other legs, same as the first. Knee. And then this clops down. Ankle tilt. Should be able to squeeze through and go all the way. I oh, hope doesn't break on me today. But this is quite tight. So yeah, this one actually has an ankle tilt that goes all the way. I don't know why there is white stuff in there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, because I glued this one. That's why. But yeah, this is, you know, if you're careful, you'll be able to push it through and use the whole ankle tilt. Um, so now we got this rubbish of a hip that was printed with this black that I hated. And now I hate even more. So still managed to find the pose maybe. Here we go. That's stable enough. We can put our body here. We can put our let's put accessories on the arms before I put them on. So you can either go outside or you can go inside if you manage, but you might have to push this forward. Again, just to be able to put the uh, things on the back. So I might as well just put it either on the outside or on the top. I don't mind having them on the top, but maybe, you know, I don't know. Just make it look like it's going to be used later or something. So that's one. That's the head. Going up, don't be upset that I didn't leave the head for last because I could, <laughs> I could be upset for that. And then this guy can go on top here, or again, you can have it at the back. This one actually fits a little bit better. No? Doesn't go all the way up now. So maybe it's better on the side, or you can just give it underneath, maybe. Yeah, that one is looking good. 
so that it's you know shooting with a multi cannon. And then for the guns, I'm gonna show you the ones that go on the hips because I thought it was cool to have a chance to, you know, showcase the Polish man with hip holsters kind of thing. And nothing is collaborating right now. Ah! Really, having bad hips is not good for your health. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're almost there. Uh, we can put gun in his hand. We can put the other gun in his hand. Even if he's already got cannons on the elbow. And let's try and hold it together for five minutes. Yeah. Just one minute. No? Oh god, that hip. It had to crack while doing the review. So here we have police dude with a cracked hip. <laughs> and now we can enjoy having them together in the shop. Two completely custom designs from my imagination. Uh, whether you like it or not, I don't know. I love them. I love the color combinations that I picked. I love how they came out. I love how detailed police dude came out. I hate that black filament. <laughs> but that's all that I hate about this. So one more time if you're interested in these designs please please find the links to cults in the description there will be uh more youtube videos for all the designs there are um deals going on at the moment until the end of september 2023 if you're watching this video in future you know go and check my cults 3d page anyway there might be another deal going on but you know, I'm working on some new designs as well. Uh, one is gonna be almost, almost Titan size, I think. Um, we will see how it comes together as I go. And then I have more MicroMaster toys that I'm trying to remake because Hasbro forgot about them, apparently. Um, but yeah, I think that you know, this is it for what comes with police dude. Uh, we've seen the little guy Robo Mo a moment ago. There's not much to say about it. Uh, we've seen the battle mode at the start. We've seen the police station. I think the police station is the best out of the two modes. I like how everything hides behind it or most of it. Um, while the battle mode was a bit more of a, uh, let's say, discovery of what can I do with what I got. But I think it's pulling it out quite nicely. Um, if anything, the battle mode might be slightly better than the one that came together with uh, the train guy. But both, nonetheless, could be really fun to play with. And the other playability were the railway that I created for the train guy and the other playability of having more choice, uh, you know, should add to the fun. I have some ideas for more of the line of these guys, but let's call this season one finished and I will work on season two later on. Like I said, I have uh, Captain Curry as the next project which is the MicroMaster Carrier, and that will transform into a robot that is almost Titan size. Then I have some still slightly bigger projects than this for uh, a transport vehicle, and I believe it's called Erector originally for the Transformer toy line. 
So the, those two will turn into some kind of bigger robo with some game X to it on how they do that. Um, I think the transport guy can, will come with a cup that it's kind of huffer from the Hasbro toy line size. I took the measurements for that. So yeah, but anyway, I hope you like these guys. Uh, I love them to bits. I think that I could print them to be, you know, a bit more solid and a bit more um, better done the the way I have them at the moment. But because I'm working on so many projects, I don't have time to reprint the one they already have. Um, so I'm happy anyway for what they are and how they are. I'll probably display them in either base or police mode for the time being until I can reprint the hips. Uh, I don't know what happened to that, but it looks like moisture went into the filament because the cannons came out pretty neat. So anyway, if I didn't clean the nose, the nose of that cannon, but you know, either way, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will enjoy my future designs and I'll catch you later.